Hey guys, what's going on? We're back with some Pokemon or some magic shit. I don't know what it is. It was recorded before Christmas. Uh, had something to do with opening products. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm good at that kind of thing. I don't really have a uh, script in front of me, so I can't really go off of it. Uh, this mic feels really good today. I recommend everybody get a mic like this just to rub your face on. You see, just rub your nose. Just get a little, eh, get a little scratch in there. Um, but yes, we are, we are back to the grind. I was sick for a while, and uh, I'm not sick anymore. <laughs> I'm not sick anymore. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of that happening. Not the biggest fan of that happening over and over again. That's uh. Well, that's gonna be a problem, as the boys, <laughs> as they say. Jesus. I'm just trying to configure some stuff here. This is, um,. Okay, there we go. Oh, my phone does not want to be nice to me. You know what, I think I might just start this and uh, hopefully just get through enough of it to um, <laughs> To make, to make a complete video for everyone that comes along and, and sees it afterwards. I'm really not a fan of what happened right there. Um, this is like the third time it's happened to me. I have one of the newer phones in the market. Probably a uh, top, you know, 10 or 15% as far as uh, how new it is. You know, uh, top 20% in price. It's not a cheap phone. Everything's updated. <laughs> Everything's updated. Everything is, is new. This phone is not even maybe two years old. And uh, it keeps cutting out. It starts and then it cuts out. Um, and it's done it multiple, multiple times. It's done it multiple, multiple times. And, and it's really, really uh, aggravating. So if you're watching this and you're looking out for some, uh, you know, some Pokemon codes or trying to see what I get in the uh, magic packs, or even just you know what's in this mystery uh, box or the uh, or the blind bag over there, the Mickey's Mickey's blind bag. Um, hop back on because I'm gonna keep doing this until we're done. So I wish I had like mods, you know, to help me out here. <laughs> I wish I had like like a note to put out in the title, maybe saying you know keep keep re uh, refreshing. Um, but I'm, I'm I'm gonna keep streaming until I have opened up everything here. So we're just gonna go. Uh, we're just gonna go with that. Anyway, now that that's uh, now that that's unfortunately been been the case, been the been the issue. Um, welcome everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to whatever this is. Sunday fun day, whatever you want to call it. I uh, well yeah, I'm already having. Um, I'm sorry. That was a text. Hey, Bryce is here. Yeah, so I've already had technical difficulties. Nice. I just came back from having physical difficulties, <laughs> having biological medical difficulties, and now my phone wants to uh, wants to poop out itself. It wants to just quit on me, and that's not going to happen. I mean, it might happen. It might actually happen again. I'm not sure. Um, but if it does, give me like a solid 20 seconds, and we're going to be back. Anyway, now that I've reiterated that point, um, yeah, welcome back. I've been sick for... I've been sick for a little while, in case folks haven't noticed. It's been, uh, oh my god, I don't know how long it's been since the last time I've opened up, you know, packs and boxes of stuff. But uh, we are back at least briefly, at least for a little while. Uh, being out of work, honestly, for a little while has has drained me somewhat. But this is going to be a relatively big, uh, you know, a relatively big opening. Might be the last one for, for a little bit until I, uh, you know, re-energize my mm -hmm. bank account. I don't have COVID, Bryce. Thank you. 
No, no, I have um, I have multiple other things, like like everything but mm -hmm. like everything besides everything besides COVID is is what I have it seems. Um, but now I'm I'm okay. I feel good. I'm awake. I'm alert. I don't feel like passing out at you know seven o'clock in the in the evening anymore. Thank God. And we are we're kind of back to the to the swing of things. I have a bunch of stuff to open here. I have like 30 games on the PC I need to get through. Um, have a lot of shit to talk about Republicans and you know all the lawsuits that have been happening in the past month and a half. So there's there's a lot to do here. There's a lot going on, and I uh, and I'm happy to be back to it. Um. So anyway, what is this? Mm -hmm. If you're not aware, this is just my little um, call it Sunday Fun Day. I guess it rhymes. It rhymes, so that means it's good. Um, and it's kind of short. Kind of like how KFC is short and, you know, um, other things. Wamu, how it used to be Washington Mutual. Sunday Fun Day is short and it rhymes. It's catchy. So that's what we're going to call this from now on. Um, it's just my little product review time. Product review hour. Product review, you know, uh, 30 minutes sometimes. <laughs> I want to say it's a product review hour, right? Um... I, well, let, let, me, let me just take a brief review because it's, it's been a while. So, what, what do we have here in front of us today? Well, we have these things. I originally picked these up to give to the kids for um, Toys for Tots. Now, I eventually did end up giving a lot of toys for the Toys for Tots program. Um, just not these. These seem to be a little more... Uh, a little more better tune for for this program. Um, I eventually replaced this with other stuff, obviously, but these seem to be a little better for for what I'm doing here. Um, actually, Nam just pointed out very very appropriately that these probably wouldn't do too well as individual gifts, even though these are about five bucks a piece and they're a decent size, you know. And you unwrap the wrapper, you'd unwrap this, and kids would have a good gift, but. Um, they just work better as uh, individual little things to kind of crack open, you know, personally. If you know somebody or um, if you yourself are interested in what's going on in there. So I, I took those away from the Toys for Tots, replaced them with like a skateboard and a bunch of other cool stuff. So hopefully they'll like those, you know, those, those bigger, nicer gifts instead of these little things. Um, there was a wall. The only Walmart I've seen in the area, actually, they had a wall of these little stuff, of these little openables, these little crackables. Um, I saw it and I told her, I told Namchus, oh my God, that is, that's my wall, dude. Like, like I wanted to stream and just show everybody that wall of, of, uh, of collectibles. Um, cause it, it was beautiful. It was like 30 different, you know, products like this. Some of the stuff I've done before here on the channel too. And that wall was just the most beautiful wall I think I've, I've ever seen. Um, it has stuff that I've never seen anywhere before. And I don't know if it was just because, you know, that Walmart put them up or, or what, but yeah, that was, um, quite the, quite, quite the little, uh, trip through a, uh, unique, you know, unique setup. Um, moving over to these, these are, uh, if you're not a fan of magic, you don't know what's going on here. This is a, uh, Commander's Legends 20 card draft booster. Um, the deal with these these are a little more expensive than the normal packs for Magic, if you're not aware. These are about $7 in most places. Uh, the average cost for these, the normal ones, is about uh, $5 per pack. So these are a good, uh, what is that, 20% higher? 20% more. You do get more cards. It's normally 15 instead of 20 um, This is a one-and-done kind of deal. Uh, kind of highly sought-after set. There are a lot of good reprints in here that folks need for this uh, particular game type. But uh, we'll, we'll see if it's, if it's going to be worth it to open up these particular packs. Because usually I ask the question, like a lot of people ask the question, is it worth it to get this? Is it worth it to get that? Uh, the, <laughs> the, the later you go on for, for any Wizards of the Coast product, which is pretty much just magic at this point, uh, the less worth it it is. I'm going to say that right off the bat. The less worth it it is to, to get these, but uh, we'll we'll get to that in a little bit, and I'll go over I'll go over that again, in a little more depth, uh, ever so ever so soon. This, if you're not aware, is a uh, God Pokemon and Magic now are are like neck and neck for the amount of products they have. But this is just a a 
it's a tin, obviously. It's it's a metal tin. It comes with a face card here, um, one of three. We'll get to that more later. But uh, you can just call this like the the cheap tins, the bad tins, because there are tins that are worth more and that cost more. This is one that costs a little bit less because it's um these little ones don't really come with like needed or desired reprints. They come with cards, but not necessarily stuff that uh, folks really care to see. They come with the face card, they come with cards inside, they come with a code card in there to get something like this online, but not exactly uh, not exactly the other stuff that I've actually opened on the channel before as well. So, but still, still cool. Still cool, and if you're a fan of this stuff, it is still worth uh, picking up here and there. Um, but I, I think I've already said that before. I think if anyone's seen this before, everyone pretty much knows which way I'm going to go with most of this, um, you know, on the value part. So these are generally worth it. These are generally not. But like I said, we'll go over that again in a little bit when we get to that. Now, this big sucker here, I'm going to have to zoom out in here. You can see my uh, my painting supplies here. Little little pig bird feeder over there. Um, yeah, I saw this in, this in the same store that I saw that the wall, the wall of this stuff. Um, that magical wall as I call it and again, I had never seen that before anywhere I'm not gonna move that until I open that which is gonna be um, Soon maybe after the mystery packs. Oh, I'm sorry mystery pranks, but it is essentially just a big bag of uh, of Junk, I mean, it's you know, it's it's toys. It's toys for kids. It's not junk But you know, it, it's, it's just a big bag of crap um, if you saw me open up the mystery boxes like four months ago, that's essentially what's in this bag. And if I flip it around here, oh, sorry, magic. You can actually see it does tell you basically what comes in there. You got ooze, accessories, stickers, dig surprise. Oh, the diggables. I don't know if I'm going to get to that today. Um, I have to do a special just to get through the, the diggables. If anyone remembers that from like a month ago. Um, articulated figure plus, you know, so on and so forth. Um, this was, uh, well, we'll get to the price anyway, after that, we'll get to the price in a little bit. Okay. So just a little brief overview for anyone who's not sure what all this crap is in front of you. Uh, I know you pokey guys are interested in those, uh, in them codes maybe. So we're going to get to that first. How about that? We're going to go Pokemon first and then we're going to go mystery prank. And then we're going to go uh, big bag of fun there. And then we're going to save the most expensive shit for, for last. So this is easily, per, uh, you know, per individual unit, the most expensive here. I will save this Poltegeist. <laughs> I'll save the Poltegeist code for after we are done here. <laughs> oh, that Seahawks comment got me, uh, got me laughing. You could have said the Cowboys too, which is my old team, and been uh, pretty accurate as well. But anyway, <laughs> this is the uh, this is a Pulte Guys tin. We're just gonna refer refer to it as the uh, the face card name of the tin, because like I said, there are different levels of tin. Um, the level after this is about twenty five dollars, and those are still I don't know if those are still coming out in that particular style. Like I said, these change styles and they change contents. Um, almost, almost set to set sometimes it seems. But you can see here, if you're not a fan of Pokemon or you're kind of new, not used to it, you can see that this thing here, the actual face character is embossed. That is, uh, uh, embossed on the front here. So it's a nice little, it's a nice effort, you know, it's a nice effort from the company. You can see the card you're going to get through this invisible, uh, plastic here. You can see the other cards, the other tins. Um, they come in the set on the side of the tins. That's Caparia, uh, tox Toxicity, Toxicity, and then Potigeist, which is the one that we got here. Um, I didn't see any Toxicities. I guess they're the popular guys in this, uh, particular tin cycle. Probably the most, uh, probably the most useful one if you play the game, honestly, out of the three. Eh. Um, and that's what I was trying to say in the beginning. If you don't play the game, these smaller tins, the thin ones that look like this, usually come with more meh characters, more um, less playable, you know, less impactful um, Pokemon. And that's fine. You know, it doesn't have to be necessary needed reprints every single time they print something. Um, but this is a, um, 
this is one of the the lower cost tins which is funny because it's only like five dollars more for the ones that cost you know uh for the ones that cost more and the ones that are that are more useful it's only a few bucks more usually on average um to have much 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 more playable physical and digital versions of these cards um i'm gonna guess we're gonna have i haven't opened one of these in forever but just uh, i'm gonna guess we're gonna have two two standard packs in here and two out of standard packs uh that's just my, my guess let's see if i'm right the code is on the back yeah the code's on the back i'll give that out at the end there so we have one rebel clash we have two rebel clash uh oh i'm wrong we have sword and shield and we have a um sun and moon so it's actually i was wrong and i'm happy i was wrong there let's move down Uh, that is a frequent occurrence in these tins. You usually get two uh, two packs that are in standard rotation, which means they're playable in the uh, the most current iteration of the of the game. And usually you get two that aren't. In this case, this one, as of the, today, is still in standard. And this one is... Wow, this is like the base set from like two years ago. A year and a half ago? Two years, maybe? Let's open up this sucker and see what we get in there. Are there any Charizards in this one? I forgot. I wasn't actually playing when this one came out, so. Let's see, Sun and Moon is that right there? Yep. Oh, I ruined it. Don't look at it. Don't look at that white. Don't look at that whiteness. You don't know what, what I'm getting into here. You just know what the color is. How? I love saying I love saying her name. How? Yangus, Rowlet. It's actually a city in uh in Texas. Also, it's not just the name of Pokemon. A reverse is Potion. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Hey, look at that, Espeon. That's a nice what one dollar fifty cent card there, two dollar card maybe. Oh, wait, is, is this is this the playable one? No, no. I don't think there really is a playable one, but I think there is one that's like worth a little bit more than the other ones. But I think it has to be the uh, Shining Legends. The Shining Legends version of this one. But hey, that is nice. I will take it. I would definitely take that. Thank you. I didn't even bring my sleeves over here. I can't sleeve anything up. I hope I don't... I have all this to get through. I really hope I don't find anything that, you know, <laughs> that worth it. Uh, let's see. The new one is always pull from the back and show to the front. Yep. Three to the front. We'll leave the energy back there. What is this? Dottler? Man, you can tell I don't, I don't watch the show or play the game because I've never seen this thing ever. Evolves from Blip Bug? <laughs> okay. I'll believe you, buddy. Aw. Q Fant. Man, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't touched these in so long. I still have, you know, the, uh, ooh, a nice reverse Pokemon Center lady. I didn't actually see the, uh, the color of the card, so let's see if it's a, ba-boom! Now, okay, I'll be happy, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy about that, even though it comes as the face card in one of the things. I have gotten two, I've gotten two GXs or Vs in a row, or EXs. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna be, you know, I, I, I can't be too upset about that. That's fine, that works. Thank you. Thank you, Pokemon. You are making my night very, very good so far. I hope I have this luck in, uh, I'm gonna go over to Magic in a minute. Oh my god. Get that, uh, that Lotus, that foil Lotus. I think it pre ordered for 350 bucks. It's sitting at 150 right now. Who's that nomchus? Copra? Caparia? Or the uh that stupid bug thing? Shkung tank. Wow, I I am pulling too many here. I'm getting ahead of myself. I think I'm getting too excited about the uh <laughs> about all these from those two uh those two pulls in a row there. That that was pretty uh oh Sojourner. Yeah, the the problem is you, you can't uh Mr. Mime. Galarian reverse. Does uh, fighting have any uh, any acceleration right now? I don't think they do. 
Hey! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> three, three in a row. This, this boy, this boy is coming back. This boy is coming back. This, this, this boy is coming back strong. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm kind of upset though, because like I feel like I'm using all my luck on Pokemon. I mean, you know, this is a few bucks here and there, but I want to get some foils in these in these packs too. God damn, boy, that is oh my god. Okay, okay, I am. I can't do it four times in a row. I I, I can't do it. It's it's never been done. It's it's never been done in the history of Pokemon's. It ain't it ain't never not been done. B, B accelerates to, to fight in. Oh, is that the guy that, uh, really? Mm -hmm. Bolton's at 10 now? Hell yeah, thanks for that Bolton. Thank you, thank you, Puppo. Thank you, Doggo. What a good Doggo that guy is. I bet it's gonna go up when, uh, you can actually play physical Pokemon again. <laughs> and not just, like, you know, backroom, uh, street Pokemon. Can you imagine a, a a card shop getting shut down for for refusing the uh, the COVID orders? Oh my god! <laughs> they wouldn't stop playing Magic and Pokemon. We have to we have to haul them in and take them downtown. Toxel. It's a nice little uh, what is that? A ferret? I don't know. It's a it's a marmoset. B is the chick with the feet. Our reverse is Oleana. Or Olina. Oh, 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 oh. See, I matched it up to the uh, to the sound effects. The little what is it? A beehive? It's some kind of like uh, abstract postmodern art there. It's like somebody took a, a pickaxe to the to the sidewalk and just broke it up and said, "Yeah, it's a Pokemon." It's like it's like Digimon now, you know. Everything that's uh, you just have these these abstract these abstract pieces of uh, of art that are just turned into living breathing uh, creatures. Now let's see the face one again here. There is the uh, Poltegeist, which is by the way, I guess haunted tea. She has the ability Teapot of Surprise, which is just the cutest thing. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and is damaged by an opponent's attack. Even if it's knocked out, choose a random card from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals that card and puts it at the bottom of their deck. Eh. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. For three juice, it does 100 damage and it does that. This is number, what is it? Sword and Shield 201. I'm sorry, 021. Can you what's the code? Boop. Maybe I blocked somebody from just scanning that easily. There you go. So, from the packs, we have this pretty mm -hmm. Espeon mm -hmm. EX from back in the day. Get out of here. Stupid alerts on my phone. Very pretty. Yeah, I, I, I kind of forgot to bring the sleeves. I really wish I would have now. Like I said, it's been a while. Pretty little Espeon there. The Stone Drenner that actually comes in the, uh, you know, one of those, another pack. Like I said, they have 30 different, you, you know, uh, products with a lot of different face cards on them every season it seems and of course this very pretty very useful right now uh bolton i know they were doing the uh digital um pokemon like players cup or whatever and bolton was in pretty much every deck i want to say <laughs> they did not want to leave him out of out of their you know out of the rotation there so here are pretty little pools from from here our reverses are here but they're not as cool um Wow, so I used up a lot of my luck there, huh? I used up like like way, 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 way too much of my luck. So with magic I'm gonna get a whole, you know, thirty cents worth of value out of there. Just my <laughs> just my luck. It's fine. So now on to mystery prank in a box. Um I don't know if this is supposed to be there's twelve electronic pranks to collect, obviously. But I don't know if this is series one. Is it series one? Because I really like I really like catching series ones. Um, if anybody catch the, the caught the Marvel game that that I collectible game that I did a couple of weeks ago, um, that was series one, and I was super happy to to be involved in that because I I so rarely get to actually use or you know open up a series one uh, product. 
What's it say? Oh, the packaging is not a toy. I was about to say, if this product is not a toy, then then what the hell are you? What, what am I doing here? You know, what am I doing here if this product is not a toy? Uh, so let's just go and open up this shit. What would be funny is if as if this was like if you open it up and it was already like a prank, and just like exploded poop in your face. So Bryce, Bryce says Espion is four dollars. Bolton is ten. Stone Journey is three. So seventeen dollar pools out of all three of those. Not not bad. I would definitely take. Uh, I mean, just get the shiny stuff. You know, get the shiny stuff at all is is half the fun. And that's what I love about Pokemon. Pokemon has the most shiny, useless, you know, unplayable crap. I think of any game, uh, and it's beautiful. <laughs> they they know how to make you feel good when you're losing. Or when you're losing out on, you know, on money cards. Actually, uh, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball's, oh my god, they're, Dragon Ball's cards, everything is like, everything is like next level shiny. Some of their stuff is so, it, okay, hold on. Alright, well that must have been the, uh, <laughs> the alarm. That must have been the alarm. You know, what I was saying about, about Dragon Ball, the card game, is uh, their stuff is literally... I mean, everyone can go look it up themselves. But their stuff is so shiny that you literally can't read the freaking card itself. And it just becomes the most ridiculous uh, feat to try and read the actual text on the card. So this must have been the... I like how it was right there, by the way. I like how I said it'd be awesome if you open this up and it was the actual prank uh, going off. There's the empty box. Not much going on there. Is this our, our uh, collector sheet? It's kind of our collector sheet. Here's an idea to get you started. And then... What is that, uh, French? I'm not even gonna... I'm done there. We're, we're done. No more French today. No, no more French for us, boys. Um, it's given a lot of, like, wake up mommy and daddy and set the house on fire. And then turn the clocks forward so that everyone gets up late and loses their job and everyone has to go to the homeless shelter. And then this one is just like assault your grandmother with uh with a bunny. So uh let me see. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to like I yeah, I'm honestly having trouble with, with reading. Uh Motion activated, uh, push button. Oh, okay. So some of these are just, uh, what? There, there's, um, I'm, I'm worried instantly about what this is. I don't know if I want to open up that, that prank. I don't want my hand melting off of my body in the middle of the night. Uh, so you have roaches. You have, uh, I don't know what that is. Pure terror. You have apps? Can you get apps? Is there, are there apps in this in this box? You have fart. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like like our, our collector sheet because it's whatever. Um, so we got this time. We have okay. So here's the thing. Clap activated. Activation par. I don't know how to. They, they don't they don't pronounce like half their letters. Okay. Aplauso activado. See that's Spanish. That's easy. But French, they pronounce like every third letter, and it's not pronounced the way the English do. So, excuse me for not knowing. You know, this is probably says something like, you know, happy, happy day, uh, you know, sandwich, and that's how you pronounce it in English. No. P pronounce, pronounce this then, sir. Pronounce that. <laughs> like it matters. Like, like I can hear anybody. <laughs> and so clap activated. Okay. This is or... This is clap activated or... Fragile. What the hell? What is this? Warning me not to eat this? Oh, okay, battery information. Yeah, I don't think these are going to be used more than once, to be honest with you. Okay, so it gives you it gives you some you know some typical typical warns some typical warnings here. I don't know if this is yeah I don't I don't really know. It's not that fragile. Get out of there.
What are you doing? Do I have to clap? Is this clap activated? Bro, I don't understand how... how... What if I drop it? <laughs> there you go. See? So it's, uh, it's violence activated. The, the best kind of activation. It's activated by violence and anger. There you go. Ha ha ha, that's a prank. So apparently you're supposed to throw these at your friends and family members. Is this, is this? No, see? The only thing that activates it is. <laughs> How does that make sense? Okay, that makes no sense, but that's fine. So we have we have the uh, we have the excitement and confusion. Uh, drop it on the ground and it makes noise thing. Maybe maybe this syncs up with like uh, um, Bluetooth. But there's no there's no instructions though. I don't. Is that the instructions? Okay, so the instructions are alarm, alarm, alarma. Spanish have to go. Go fancy with it there and add that A at the end, huh? I mean, let me try to focus. Let me try to... There we go. Each... Okay, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this to you because it's so hard to focus here. Each push the button adds five seconds. Adds five seconds to the timer. <laughs> then wait for the sound to be set off. Oh! Wait a minute. Am I activating this by screaming like a... Like a crazy person? Okay, so it says... Let me see. I'm... Okay. <laughs> we're about to... <laughs> we're about to discover uh, the hammer again here in a second. Because this, this is not... Uh, this is not going to work out here. We're going we're gonna, to... We're gonna, you know what? Here. Come on. Okay, we're going to start... There we go. Okay, so one one really fucking annoying thing uh, out of the way there. Okay, you know what? Okay, sorry guys. Let me. Okay, so I threw that one outside. That one is uh that one's done, and we're just gonna go ahead and take a peeky, a sneaky peek here and see if. If all of these are the same, yeah, so, so these are all the same, and I already hate them. Uh, let me show you where this other one landed here. Yeah, this other one got to, uh, let me take it, take a little trip outside. Bye-bye, no more prank for you. So, say bye-bye pranks. No, no more pranks for, for us tonight. Uh, we, we've been out pranked. We've effectively, uh, yeah, so that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. Uh, Pokemon was good. <laughs> okay, uh, is it worth it? Is it worth it to buy these stupid-ass prank boxes? Uh, no, what, what, what is that? What, what happened? I don't even understand what, what, what's going on with these. Like, I see the, the instructions, but, like, you know, is it all an app? Am I supposed to... The only way to, see, to activate that last one was by chunking it on the ground. <laughs> that doesn't seem that doesn't seem uh, effective. So we're gonna push all this back here since we're saving those for the end. Pokemon, go hang out with Magic. I know you're not friends anymore, but y'all hang out in the same general area. You go over there, over there with Art. Uh, clear this area. Clear this area. Okay, this is gonna be the hardest thing. Big bag of. Of Disney. Yeah, so is it worth it to, to buy that shit that I just uh, fumbled my way through? No. Uh, if you want to, go for it, but no. Okay, so, boy, this is hard. I might need to go uh, enlist some help with this one. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to... Uh... So this is perforated. As everyone knows, I love perforation. I love me a perforated bag. Look at this. Yeah. Smooth. Smooth and silky. There we go. Trash. 
All right, let's see how it looks from the uh, from the opening part. All right, so they're all individually bagged. Um, if you guys remember me opening up the uh, mystery box from, like I said, like five months ago, four months ago, it was pretty much the same thing. I guess they all legally have to come individually wrapped like this. And so they are. Um, this bag is, if you can see here, it is resealable. So afterwards, I guess, uh, yeah. So afterwards you have a nice little resealable, I don't know, just bag, just some kind of, you know, toy bag or, or shopping bag or something you can put some, some groceries or toys in uh, for after you're done with it. I mean, it, it is 11 bucks, um, which is something I forgot to mention. This is 11 bucks. This, this tin is uh, 20, comes in four packs, and then the, the front pack, or the front card that you saw. I should have done it while I was doing this, but yeah. This was 20, four packs, plus the face card, plus the online code. Uh, this was $11. So you get the bag, you get all this. Um, individually wrapped toys here. Those stupid mystery things back there were $5 a piece. Um, so I just pretty much wasted 20 bucks, which is fine. That's why I do it. I do it so that you don't have to. I got a little extra dough here and there to uh, to uh, try these things out. Because if you go to like their website, you can see what they are. But it's like... Uh, it's less of a mystery if folks like me do it, you know, average people who just want to open up something and get, get to it, basically, um, to see how it works out. Now, you can probably sit there and read through that stupid manual and uh, figure it out, but it just doesn't seem fun to have to, you know, to read something, to figure something out, to see if it's even fun or not, right? So, uh, don't buy those 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 little toys that I just, whatever you whatever you call those, don't get, don't grab those. If you like Pokemon, though, grab the Pokemon stuff. If you like, uh, what else did I do? If you like this stuff, well, let's see. So we have our, I don't know. These aren't individually labeled, obviously. So I'm just going to crack them open to see what's here. There's supposed to be eight individual, individual uh, toys or individual objects, items. Let's see. And we have a Mickey. So I guess this is our, uh, our face. Our face character, because as you saw over there, it is a Mickey. Um, there were other colors, so I guess there are like a Donald and like a Goofy or something. So here's our face, uh, our face Mickey. I'm surprised they let him uh, be made in this bag. Usually, anything with Mickey's face on it is at least, uh, you know, three hundred dollars, and you have to uh, sacrifice your firstborn child. But here's a Mickey and one of eight um, toys in this eleven dollar bag. So that's kind of cool. His uh, arms are adjustable. He can bow, of course, because the Chinese bow, and uh, you have to have your Mickey bow to the Chinese like they do. A little swivel head, so you can kind of do like one of these little, you know. Look at that, Mickey looking all, all fresh. Here, let's, let's put one arm down and. Oh, that boy, that boy, that boy clean. He's like, boy, you, you don't even know. Cool. Cute little Mickey figurine. Um, it's hard, uh, it's hard plastic too. It's not cheap. So that's going to take 5,000 years to, uh, <laughs> to disintegrate instead of, uh, 2,000 years. Here we have, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what this is. I like to guess before I open some of this stuff, but I, I have no idea what's in this one. I have no idea what's... Oh, this is the... Oh, fuck this. So, me and Diggables have a history, if you don't know. Uh, I'm not going to open this at all. It's... This is supposed to be a reminiscent of, like, archaeology or piracy. Like, literal pirates, you know, of the Caribbean type of stuff. It is already mostly cracked. But no, I don't want to dirty my, my table up right now. Um, and you literally just take this little tool. You're supposed to dig through there. And uh, you dig out like a little, pretty much another one of these. You dig out another little um, another little toy like this. And I guess it's supposed, it's supposed to kind of keep your kids occupied for a good 20 minutes. Um, the problem is, though, 
This is hard compacted plaster. This doesn't get through there very well. I opened up like 10 of these about a month and a half ago or two months ago. Um, I put them on a table and I took a hammer to them to get these open, like reliably get them open. And it worked pretty well. So if you get one of these bags and you get to this and you don't want to mess with it yourself for, you know, 30 minutes straight, just get a hammer, take it outside, hit it in the middle a couple times and it'll crack right open. Pretty much like an actual rock. Um, I might dig, I might dig this open off screen and crack it open off screen later and, you know, show what's actually in there in a future episode. But for now, yeah, don't, I, I'm not even going to open it. I mean, it's cute. It's cool. It's just not a, I, I've tried to do it on stream before and it's not very, uh, amenable to the, to the stream format. We'll say, all right, what is this? I can't like a bench. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, not exactly, but yeah, it's a chair. Mickey! Is Mickey his own brand now? No, it's Disney. Just play LLC made in China. Of course. Where else would it be made? Where else would it be made? Disney, or Disney. Pretty much Disney. Mickey in his chair here. Doing the, uh... Setting up to, uh, to dab on them boys. Ooh, I know what that is. This is a stickers, probably. No, no, sir. I'm not gonna. I'm not digging that anymore. Maybe I'll collect like four or five and uh, and bust them open on screen like I did last time. If you didn't catch that, by the way, viewers, it is on YouTube under the same name, Smug Jackalope. I uh, where I opened up the nine or ten Treasure X stickables. It was actually pretty fun. I'm glad I got around to it eventually. Yeah, so these are these are stickers. See the let me see. I'm trying to so the hands a sticker and the uh, goofy is a sticker. These are just basic stickers. There's one, two, three. There's goofy four, and back to the five. I'm sorry, six. So you get six little stickers here. That's kind of cute. You know, stick them all over your uh, your beautifully uh, manicured room and, and ruin all your nice stuff. Yes, you can make Mickey sit. Fine. Okay. Okay, chat. Jesus. God, you're just... You're abusing me. There. Mickey's sitting. Oh, God. There you go. You happy? You fucking guys happy? He's sitting? You want to see? You want to see me ruin my <laughs> ruin my table with this with this diggable too? No. Is this another Mickey? Oh wow! So this is a uh, this is a does he suck water? Is he a, is this a squirtable Mickey? I think he's a squirtable Mickey. Yeah. So let me see. Hold on. I'm I'm, I'm testing him. Yeah, so I'm guessing he uh, he doesn't make noise, so he's not like a chew toy. I'm guessing you put him in water, and you suck up some water, and Mickey shoots out his uh, his Mickey juice from his chest here. Show the back there. Just just Mickey saying hi. Just him saying, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh my god, Chad has so many questions now. Now now you guys have questions. Can he stick on to anything? I don't know. I know, I know, I see this. I see this here, I, I got you, but we'll see, okay? We'll see if he stick on to something. So here's um here is water gun Mickey, I guess you can call him. With the uh with that forty five hole in his chest. Grew up in the hood and uh came out a soldier there. Uh item number four? Five. This is item number five. One, two, three, four, five. Item number six. Uh, this is, I don't know, some kind of chest. It's, it's, it's a toy chest. I was completely, completely wrong. Uh, if you're wondering, I don't think there is a little uh, knob there. So I don't believe he can sit in there. I mean, he can sit in there, but he's just not gonna, you know, 
he's not going to click on there. So y'all wanted to see the, uh, so there, there you go. That's his, his feet don't, there you go. <laughs> that's actually pretty, that's actually pretty cute. There's a, there you go. There's motorist Mickey. Uh, item number seven, I want to say. Is it seven or eight? Let's see. Eight surprises. Okay. Item number seven. Let's see. There you go. There you go, Mickey. I think somebody called him Mikey a second ago. Um, it's ooze. It's Mickey ooze, which can be uh, taken very wrong. If you say it wrong, like I did. Oh, and there's a Donald, Daffy, Darkwing. I forget which one it is, to be honest. There's so many ducks. Daffy Duck. Donald's the, uh... no, no, that's Donald. And uh, which one's the, the, the one with uh, with Bugs Bunny? Quacky. Quacky the, uh, the duck. So this is some very juicy can you, y'all can see that, yeah, y'all can see that clearly. Y'all can see clearly how juicy this, this ooze is. Uh, this is gonna stay sealed up. And, uh, I wish I could open the trash from here. Because I would throw it directly into the trash. I'm not a fan of ooze. I don't have kids, but I've opened up ooze before, and it's just... I'm glad this wasn't a thing when I was younger. Uh, Play-Doh is bad enough. But, you know, not even, not to mention this, this ooze. Yeah, without even bringing ooze into the picture. I think Play-Doh and all that other stuff is bad enough. So it just says ooze. Because that's what it is. Uh, so, we have, uh, we have Figurine Mickey. We have uh, Chew Toy slash uh, Water Gun Mickey. We have Ooze. Uh, Mickey Ooze. Mickey Car. Mickey Stickers. Mickey Chair. Mickey Diggable. And this thing, which is... Once you touch it, you instantly know what it is. And it's just... Uh, let me Let me see. Probably the only part that I'm gonna keep. Honestly, probably gonna throw most of the uh, the Mickey stuff away. Plushy Mickey, look at that. Just a little plushy that you would get out of a little uh, little machine. Yeah, I, I might. Cause uh, you know, Nam just says that, um, and I say I might, but yeah, I, I didn't see too many of these actually gone from the store when I was there. And if I go back, you know, who knows how many there are gonna be actually uh, off the shelves. Because it's not about how many they put out there. It's about how many they actually buy. Or how many folks actually buy, I guess you could say. So here's a cute little... Um, yeah, so I might be one of the only people that actually bought and opened up one of these. Here's just a cute little Mickey. There's no... Does he usually have... Uh, no, he doesn't. He just has pants. I was trying to see if he usually has suspenders. But no, just pants. No, uh, nothing to go around his arms. Somewhat flexible. He has a, he has a nice... Uh, Nice tight Mickey body. Mickey butt. Mickey tail. Oh, he's got two tails. <laughs> he's got an information tail and he's got a he's got a normal rat tail. But yeah, this is probably the one that I'm gonna keep uh, up on my my mantle, the countertop somewhere. This is pretty cool. Let me see if I can. Yeah, he's easily the biggest part of this whole bag. Um, so quick recap, yeah. You get the the Mickey, the little adjustable Mickey with his car and his chair is pretty cool. The normal 10 cent stickers are, yeah, whatever. Uh, the, I guess, water, the the water sports Mickey. I guess he's wearing a life, check, life vest there, so to signify that it is a water Mickey. That's fine. Uh, the diggable, which is actually, you know, 10 to 30 minutes of, of fun, is also pretty cool. Plushy Mickey, ooze, ooze Mickey, and the... Uh, Reusable bag over there. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but it is resealable. Uh, I wouldn't put any food in there, you know, anything too important. But kids will love it. Uh, Eleven bucks is is not too bad because some of these, like some of these, independently sold for I want to say like five to ten by themselves. This damn thing, you can pay twenty dollars trying to win this out of the machine. Uh, this by itself at the store is probably you know five or ten bucks because it's it's Disney. Um, I don't know. This probably comes in a set by itself for seven to twelve dollars. Same thing for this. This probably comes by itself for like three to five dollars. Um, I really had to double check my receipt. But these are twelve dollars because anything Disney uh, related is usually just 
out of this world expensive, like, like unreasonably expensive. Anything with Mickey, you know, Donald, Goofy, um, anything with any of the, the Disney characters or name is usually out of this world, just expensive. But twelve bucks for all this stuff, yeah, I would, I would definitely say, if you have any Disney fans or any, um, you know, just uh, plushy fans or you know plastic playable fans or just any any fans of kid stuff, yeah, I would definitely uh, drop by your. You might have to drop by a few WalMarts too, by the way. You might have to drop by a few online retailers. Even I, I don't know who who sells it online, but physically, I've only seen this bag at one Walmart as of like two weeks ago. Um, maybe, maybe they just haven't gotten around to to put them out in their you know in their respective places. But don't be surprised if you have to go around to find these, because not every I've been to like seven or eight WalMarts down here, and not every Walmart is equal. They are not all the same. Um, but yeah, that, that's a thumbs up. So, now the most expensive shit uh, of them all. These Commander Legends uh, booster packs. Now, a lot of people ask the question, is it worth it to buy these? Uh, outright, just honestly, no. Uh, I know I'm not going to make any fans of, you know, at a Wizards over there for saying that, but they're honestly not worth the the seven dollars retail for uh you know individually normal packs are five bucks and even then it's really not worth it uh the reason that is is because i'm about to cut my finger off here um <laughs> the reason that happens or the reason that's the case is because if you're gonna make a deck you want to buy singles and that goes for a dragon ball that goes for pokemon that goes for uh, card fight, Vanguard, that goes for Magic, that goes for any any card game. You want to buy singles. You don't want to buy packs. Uh, and you don't want to buy expensive packs at that. Now, these are just the normal... We're going we're gonna to use some, some air quotes here. Normal Commander Legends uh, packs. I don't know if there's expensive ones, meaning foil copies, uh, exclusive copies. But these are the normal ones. These are 7 bucks. Um, you can see they're nice and shiny here. They do come with, with 20 cards as opposed to 15, as per usual. Uh, but, but still, even with the, the reprints that are, that are in the set, even with the amount of money you can pull out of here, you typically do not want to, unless you're just a big gambling uh, freak, I guess like me, <laughs> unless you just like seeing people open these up, like I do, um, unless you just really need that, that gambling kick like i guess i do since i'm here opening these up um just outright it's never worth it to to open these up especially at seven dollars it's not worth it open it but five dollars that's especially not worth it at seven dollars so there's the back spirit token not foil how are they doing this are they going common to rare i think they are i'm gonna aim down a little bit more here um so yeah we have four packs here that's almost thirty dollars after tax that's not a if you're not great at math that's not a great that's not a great ratio to to be completely to be completely honest here and there are no uh there are no codes here unfortunately either for magic players so you just get all the commons and uncommons and whatever you get in here is what you get and you're not taking this sucker online uh magic rarely has rarely has any codes for online play so that makes it like just just that next level not worth it you know now we're looking for uh vampiric tutors we're looking for uh we're looking for marquesa we're looking for what is it uh a lotus or two we're looking for i forgot the name of the blue card <laughs> we're looking for a particular blue card and black card that i can't remember the name of because i follow these I follow the card games, but not religiously. Ooh, a nice Seb McKinnon art there. See Seb? Everything everything he makes is beautiful. And our rare is going to be Armor Sky Hunter. And there's like a chance of getting like another rare or something. So we're just going to go through here. This is actually the, the first pack I've opened of these. And probably the, the first of the only four packs I'm going to open of these. So that's the rare. This is my uncommon. I don't know what he is. Uh... Not really, not really worth a lot, not really worth a lot. Ooh, not worth a lot, but that is very, uh, 
this is a very played card in Commander, very played card in Magic. Um, at least a few bucks there. It's at least three or four dollars. Pretty cool. I actually played Preordain. I might just put this in one of my decks and just say F, you know, F trying to sell it or trade it. And we have another Commander here. Yeah, this is like 50 cents now. This this was at one point like a $20 card, and now it's just, and now it's a common. You see the black there? Now it's just a common uh, commander because it's so, like, unvaluable. Yeah, yeah, rares do come hollow. Um, so the weird thing about these is, okay, so I have this one rare and this particular one. Uh, there are three or four cards after that, and there's a chance that you could have up to, there's a chance that all four cards after this could be rare. Or mythic, even. Uh, the chances of that happening are like, you know, one in a couple hundred thousand or so. Um, there we go. But yeah, there is a chance that you can get a lot of value in just one single pack. Like, I've seen people open up one of these, and they got a couple hundred bucks out of just one pack. But again, that's uh, <laughs> that's one out of every, you know, couple hundred, maybe even a few thousand packs. So here's the back. The token is going to be, uh, what is this? Oh, the Monarch. Who doesn't love drawing cards? Let's flip it around. Corpse Churn. Renegade Tactics. Scholar of the Stars. Lifecrafter's Gift. You see, the whole thing about these is uh, Pokemon players, it's hard to, to relate. But there's a way of playing Magic where you basically... Uh, it's called Draft. You pass around packs... And you pick cards out of there to play in your deck, because the way that um, the way the magic is playable, or the way the magic is formatted, it's it's done in such a way that there's it leaves more room open uh, for more versions of play than Pokemon does. Like it's more flexible, um, and so this particular set was made with that uh, draft type in mind. Whereas in other card games, like I said, you, you don't have that, that flexibility to play this way. Is that Seb McKinnon? Yeah, that's Seb. Seb is awesome. I love that guy's art. Ooh, there's a nice uh, $5 card. All right, I'll take that. Keeper of the Quarters are our first or second rare. Who is this? Tuya. Tuya Bearclaw is another uncommon. Alina, uncommon. And our foil is Crow of Black Tidings. This is worth... Uh, close is close to zero. This <laughs> is worth close to zero dollars. So I'm not gonna get too excited about that. Uh, but most most of your cards are gonna be right around there. Pretty, but not really worth that much. Um, playable, but not really worth that much. Can I get a can I get a, a sweet cut here? And like I said, that's why we open these. That's why folks like me open these. That's why they send these to people. Um, you know. And the, uh, they'll send literally stacks of these to people just because they know that it's going to take a while before you find something that anybody remembers. And folks are only going to remember that one card out of, you know, out of, uh, what is this so far, 30 or 40 cards? Everyone's only going to remember that one money card. Uh, and forget about the four or five entire packs that you spent that you didn't, uh, you know, that you didn't make any money on. That's what they're hoping for. But me... If I get no money cards, then that's pretty much exactly what I would expect. <laughs> it's like you 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 can't you can't disappoint me when I already when I already expect nothing. Ooh, I get the uh, I'm getting some of the diamonds though. Those are playable. The Dino guy. Yeah, I wish this like actual uh, physical. Card games are still going on. I do miss playing in person, so. Second uncommon. Here's our third uncommon, and our rare is. Ooh, is that one worth something? If you... No, this one's worth like a few bucks. Still, though, playable in a certain deck. That's our first rare. Uh, this one could be a rare, but it's not. It's an uncommon. This one could also be a rare, but it's the second copy of an uncommon that we've gotten already twice now in three packs. Um, and this is. Ooh. This is a full uncommon, not very, not worth very much, but uh, you find that right person that wants to play this particular card, and then it becomes worth that much. 
I think the most the most valuable card we've gotten so far is this one, and I want to say it's uh, around five dollars or so. Look, look at all that text. See, in Magic, and pretty much any any card game, the amount of text that they have is relevant to their power level. And this dude is just filled with text. <laughs> That's all he is. He just texts from from the ground up. Just text, text, text. Pow, pow. Is that good? Did we get it? Did we get there? Yeah, we got there. I feel like I destroyed this pack. And this is gonna be the one money pack. Also, what did I say? I used up all my I used up all my luck over there with uh, with Pokemon. Of course. <laughs> of course I did. That's fine. Pokemon always uses up all my luck. Pokemon knows how to how to how to use up that luck well, you know. Pokemon has a great Pokemon has a great history of of sucking up all the luck in the room. Make new friends that stick together forever. The token is a cool looking zombie token. Is he missing his? Hey, he's missing most of his uh his uh, chin there. It's okay. He'll find it. He'll get it back. We'll get it one of these days. Doo doo. Now I'm gonna I say doo doo a lot, but it's uh a lot of these commons are playable. If you're not playing like high level competitive magic, a lot of these are very playable. And I'm actually gonna go through these uh, again after we're done here, because most of these commons, uh, the black ones, you can tell because they're black, are worth uh, worth a jack shit, but are still very playable. Uh, uncommons here in silver. For magic, at least. Ugh. Stop, stop shifting. Fine. Keep shifting. Our right, first in common, Horizon Scholar. Uh, a Sifter Worm. Third in common is Merchant Raiders. And what is this? Ember Wild Captain. That's that's going to be a read later uh, card there. Ooh. He's one of the, uh, the face cards. I think he's worth a few bucks. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, Golfner. So here... Here's one of the uh, the packs I was telling you about, uh, chat, and also specifically uh, Sancho. There's this is rare here, this gold. Uh, the second rare here is also uh, you can see the, the the gold rare. That's two rares in a row. That's three rares in a row, which is not not common. And then, uh, oh, and then we have a. Uh, Oh shit, we got a full and we got another one. So th this is one of the special packs that I was talking about. Um, it's really rare to get. I got three, three rares in a row. Um, and all three of these are, or these two are playable. Three rares in a row. This one could have also been a rare, but it ended up being the foil. And this one was another uh, extra commander that they threw in. So this one was a, yeah, th this one was a pretty spicy pack. This one actually might be worth uh, mining up paying off this whole thing. Well, when I'm done looking it up, um, but yeah, so th this pack, uh, this pack actually ended up pretty damn, pretty damn spicy. This isn't worth too much, I know. These two might be though, because these two are, are popular uh, commanders, like leaders of your uh, of your deck. Um, you know, the the point of this whole the whole set. These might actually be worth a few bucks here and there. But yeah, so that, that was that was one of the versions or one of the the spicier packs that I could have come across. Um, there's one that we didn't get in here. This there's a rarity that was uh, mythic rare. And that is uh, bronze color. And we got zero of those in any of the four packs. Um, if I'm going to guess, I don't think I'm going to hit 24 bucks or $28, which is how much these uh, these packs cost. So, like I said, um, I did get this stack of, of somewhat playable cards, though, to add to my collection that I might or might not have had before. Uh, that's just the commons. Well, that's the commons. You got these nice little tokens to play with. Um, some of these sometimes are actually worth more than some of these cards. These in particular, I don't think any of these are worth more. Um, but some of these tokens are very rare uh, in the actual set, and they can be worth up to five to six dollars. Like I still got a few tokens that are worth about seven dollars now because they're so hard to find. Uh, here's the uncommons that I got from there. Again, a pretty good, a pretty good bulky stack um, for what came came in the packs. Here are the rares: one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, I'm sorry, that's not a rare. So I got six rares. Six rares in four packs. Pretty good, pretty good. And then I got my four my four foils here, which the, the, most of the foils are gonna be crap. Uh, mostly stuff like uh, 
preordained is going to be worth a little bit more on average because more folks play it. Um, so sometimes you get lucky and find a playable uh, foil, but it's mostly going to be corner case uh, foils. What I mean by that is you're going to find more joy out of the foils when you actually play them than you will value out of them uh, for pulling them. So um, is it worth it again? You really, it's, it's really not. Um, it's really not worth it, even if you play the game, even if you're getting into the game. It, if you just get into it, I could, I could maybe make a little bit of an argument that it might be somewhat worth it, uh, because like I said, you do get, you do get a shit ton of of actual bulk of cards. Uh, when you go online to look up these prices and buy them individually, part of the problem ends up being that this, you know, ten cent card. You have to spend two dollars at least at the store for, for them to ship it to you, and so you got to go find another, you know, dollar fifty worth of value uh, to get it shipped to you. Um, you can go sometimes to your local game store, and sometimes they'll have commons and uncommons. Sometimes they won't, uh, so that's another issue. So I guess if you're just starting and you want to build a big collection, it might actually be worth it to uh, to pick it up, and if you have you know the extra money, obviously. Uh, but if you're kind of just just wanting to build a specific decks. You know, you played a little bit, you know what's going on, you know what decks you want to actually build. Uh, it's probably more worth it to just buy the um, the singles that you need, like everyone says. Um, just because you know what you want, and it's 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 uh, you probably already got more cards in your in your collection already to uh, to play off of, so you don't have to get all the little you know all the bulk commons like I have here. So is it worth it? Pretty much. You know, 51% no, 49% yes. It's one of the harder things to say, uh, to, to, to determine value. It's really, if you're new, yes. If you're not new, no. I guess we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, so those are our spicy pools from there. Our spicy pools from, I guess, the uh, the Disney part is, is this cute little plushie here. I do like this this uh, this plushie. Um, and here are our pretty little spicy pools from the uh, Pokemon part. Bolt in there as a standout, I guess, at 10 bucks, and that's fine. I will, I will not turn down adding a $10 card to my collection. Uh, Pokemon, guys, it is for trade in person. I should have had five codes today, so I hope uh, somebody got, you know, one, two, or all the codes. Sancho, you probably got most of the codes there since you're pretty good at uh, <laughs> at sniping them. <laughs> this has been a fun little return to, uh, to normal, although I'm not sure it's going to be normal, per se, as it was before. Uh, this was kind of a, uh, kind of a big blow up before Christmas. I will probably pick this, uh, product review stuff up again in January sometime. I do have, oh my god, four or five games on, uh, on the computer to get through. So you will be seeing me back for that a lot in the, in the near future. Uh, talking head sessions. Uh, YouTube, YouTube exclusive stuff is going to be happening as well in the future. Um, besides that, it's just going to be, uh, back to the norm. Back to the norm, you know, games, product reviews here and there, uh, talking head sessions, and maybe some other stuff in the future. But uh, I'm happy to get back to it, be healthy, back in the saddle, uh, riding my horse, you know, on down that, that country road, um, you know, and, and just back here with everybody having fun. So yeah, that has been our uh, our opening for this um, for Sunday, December the... I don't know. It's a day. I never know the date. I don't know why I even try. <laughs> why? I don't know why I try the date so much, and I never know the actual date uh, when it matters. I always have to look at my phone, like to the point where you look at your phone, and then I look back at whatever I'm I'm doing, and then I look back at my phone because I just forgot <laughs> the date from when I was just looking at the date. Anyway, thanks for sticking around, guys. I hope uh, if you pull anything spicy, let me know on a on a Discord or somewhere DM. Twitter, um, you know, what you pulled. If you have any suggestions or anything you want me to, to see open, I'm open to suggestions as well. Um, I haven't done any uh, any online suggestions, but I've done in real, you know, in person suggestions. I think this bag was one actually. Uh, so yeah, like I said, if you ever want something to be open and you think I can uh, do that, let me know and I will see if I can or not. Um, yeah, I'm thirsty now, so I'm going to let you guys. Uh, let you guys go ahead and get on out of here, watch the game, whatever game's on right now, and uh, go get me a big cup of water. <laughs> I will see you guys later for some gameplay of something or other. We'll, we'll see what happens. And y'all have a good night, all right?